bloody Kaden geezers. Welcome back to another Liso's AFC Creator Club career mode episode. Last episode then, of course, was our first half of season in the Premier League. And oh my God, what an episode it was. Some of the bangers we scored were absolutely filthy. You lot voted this one as your favourite goal. Anaki Williams volley at Old Trafford in the snow. Oh my God, it's sexual. But lads, I've got to be totally honest with you. This is the best goal I think I've ever scored. Kill Ken against Liverpool to basically seal the win in this game. Oh my God, it's beautiful. But anyway, enough for a minute about what happened last episode. Let's get into this episode today and let's finish off this Premier League season. Now, before we go any further, geezers, I just wanted to say a massive thank you for all the support on the latest upload. The rebuilds always do pretty decent. But oh my God, this video here, the Banquet Barca one, has gone straight in second place as my best performing video. So again, thanks for the support. And a special shout out to these absolute legends here, Jacob Bottle and Mr. How To on YouTube. They've been killing it with the messages, sending me loads of support. So again, I just wanted to absolutely show my appreciation. I love receiving the messages. I love the interaction. And these two have been killing it. So boys, keep it up. Now, boys, we are going to start this episode with a January signing. And it's going to be the geezer who'll be skating for a long time. He's on the free agent. I think he's like a Youth Academy star, whatever it is. But it's Abdullah Ali. Oh, my God. He looks like Riyad Mahrez's regen. He comes in, free agent, but he's going to be 82 rated. And when you see this geezer's pace, you'll see why I wanted to bring him in. Three star, three star, not amazing, but he's going to be absolutely rapido on that wing. And he's going to be able to swing crosses into Anaki Williams to fire us, hopefully, all the way to Europe. And that's it, one and done for signings, just for now anyway, and we're going to get straight into the highlights. Now, if you're new around these parts, just to let you know, we play an absolute bag of games, nice and early up front. Few highlights in there, and then we play the big games live at the end of the season. First game was Leeds then, we're in Yorkshire, Yorkshire. Hey there, Yorkshire, we chuffy love ya. Leeds have built an absolute sick side and I thought this is going to be a bit of an acid test for us boys. One of them games that show us exactly where we are and exactly where we were was wrapped up in a spliff being burnt like your dad's barbecue after he's fallen asleep in the sun after a few too many tinnies. Roland's out here coming up with stop after stop after stop. But Leeds just weren't chilling out, weren't calming down and they finally break us down. They slip this ball through to Almada, who just rounds it past Roland. Couldn't do anything about it, boys. And we find ourselves 1-0 down. After that one, though, someone stuck a few bloody quid in us. And we went for it. Allo swinging the ball, back stick at a Nelson. But he just can't catch it cleanly enough. Matheson picks the ball up then in his little Trent roll. Dinks the ball into Anaki Williams. Touches it down to Ferguson, but again, cannot finish his dinner. And then this is where we released him. We released Ali, and look how quick he is, mate. He's absolutely rapid. Swings the ball into Anaki, but another chance goes begging. But he weren't done there. He weren't giving up this lad. And he reminded me of a little Tevez here, nicking the ball just before the defender, but can't sneak it in past the goalkeeper. Touch of a bloody wizard to get it around the defender here. Driving in again. This time decides to cut back. Swings it the back post to Nelson. And again, how bloody close do we have to be, boys? But it ends up 1-0 to Leeds. It's our first loss of the episode already. But listen, we bounce back. We regroup. And this one was a perfect opportunity against Brentford. Little dink into the box here. Again, Anaki Williams with that centre-forward player that I want to be seeing from him. Big and strong. Knocks it down to Ferguson. But can't quite get it in. Allo finds himself in the box here. And absolutely lamb shank wanky danks it. Harvey Vale comes on. And Ali this time couldn't catch a cold with that strike there. We're into the 89th minute now then. And we've brought on Jimmy Dobbs just to give us something extra. Something different in attack. And you know why we call him Jimmy Dobbs, didn't you? Because that's all he knows. All he knows is big fat Dobbs. Like a thief in the night. Jimmy Dobbs comes on. 
and snatches all three points against Brentford. Tank's going absolute ape shit. He's just heard about the new coffee-flavoured Guinness. But what a story from Jimmy Dubs, eh? We signed him in League 2. He's come with us all the way up to the Premier League, and he's making things happen. But this is the problem with the Premier League. You get past the tee like Brentford. You think, oh, yeah, we've snatched all three points, and then you come up against Arsenal. Always going to be a tricky one coming here to the Emirates. But we did start pretty well. Ali going very close past Ramsdale's corner there. Alzat picks the ball up very deep and drives forward. Look at him driving through just like he did in the playoff final. And he gets absolutely sweep kick taken out. And this geezer, out, mate, you don't want it. You don't want it with the drug lord. Now there was one person I wanted taking this. It was Reese Nelson. He steps up and like a young David Beckham swings it into that top binzer and he runs straight towards the crowd looking for his posh boys. But again, what a story this is. Reese Nelson dropped by Arsenal. They didn't want him. They didn't want him around the place anymore. And we gave him a home here at Liso's AFC. And he comes back to repay us against his former employers. It's absolute postage stamp. Look at it. Ramsdale flapping like your mom in a strong breeze. And we are ahead at the Emirates. Can we keep this up, though? Can we keep this one goal lead? Love a little flick around the corner to Allo. Can't quite get it on target. But at this point, they were just throwing everything at us. Ravella coming forward here. Saka slides Balogun through. It comes back out. All the way to Saka here. Has another effort. And it's a big stop for Roller. But that's it, boys. We did it. We beat them. Now, I started to notice we were a bit light in midfield. So I went and bought in Joby Bellingham. What a signing this geezer is going to be. I'm very excited to play with him. And I know for a fact he's going to grow into the absolute stratosphere. And imagine this couple of seasons time. Champions League final. Bellingham versus Bellingham. What a story that would be. Back into the highlights then. And we come up against Man United at home. And to be honest, I weren't expecting any different from this. And we go straight away. Concede to Graven Birch. He picks the ball up in the box again. And he's absolutely done us. 2-0 down against Man United at home. Not a hope in hell, have we? Late on, though, David De Gea rolls this one out to Scrinier. He gives the ball to Ali. Ali driving forward. Looks for a power shot. Absolutely bamboozles David De Gea but he does end up keeping it out. Reese Nelson going to swing this one in. Ball in. Inaki Williams, big header. But at this moment in time, just looking like a consolation goal, to be fair. Into the 88th minute then. Nelson gets the ball here. Drops it off to Alzati, who slides a lovely little weighted ball through to Thomas. All he has to do is open his body, swing it into that far corner. It's a big save from David De Gea. But another corner, lads. Is it possible? Is there a possibility? The ball gets touched down, recycled. It's Harvey Vale and he scores an absolute bending effort into that far corner. And we've only gone and snatched a point from the jaws of defeat. We absolutely pull it out of the bag. Lovely little swinger from Harvey Vale, And it's so nice to have him back in the team. Next set of highlights then is up against Nottingham Forest. And to be honest, it was a bit of a dull affair, a bit of a dull game. Only real thing that happened here was Reese Nelson driving down this line here, dinks the ball into the box, and it's that man. It's Muhammad Ali, knockout blow to get the tricky trees absolutely out of here. Then from one Midlands team to the other, from the tricky trees to the foxes, and they absolutely hammer blow us in this first couple of minutes. A lovely little turn and go from this lad. But we defo weren't scared of these lot. And we knew we could get something back. And we've got a little bit of bounce. We've got a little bit more metal about us in this second half of the season. Reese Nelson with a lovely touch and finish straight into that top binza. He's definitely improved his game. Chipping in with a lot more goals and assists. Just after the hour mark then. Leicester go to take a short free kick and they'll give it straight to Ali. And Ali, you know what he's going to do. He's off like a prom dress. He's out to the races. Bearing down on goal and he's even got the finish to match it. Ali has been an inspired transfer this season. I couldn't love him anymore. Look at this. Driving into the box and he just slides it past the keeper. Coming away from league action then, we've got an Emirates FA Cup round of 32 against Aston Villa. Now, I had to play this one. My beloved Aston Villa at Villa Park, under the lights. Oh, my God, it looks sexual. 
Quick flash at the whole 10 then, and to be honest, this is the only time I'm going to wish that at the end of the game, that group of fans are going to be absolutely gutted. Now, I did notice while I was checking the teams, they've got Jay Stansfield, and it's that man to go ahead and put Villa into the lead early on in this game, just before half-time, is absolutely done Roland like a kipper. Got to be honest, lads, it was a totally lacklustre game. We didn't really put up much of a fight in this one. I did bring on a few of our fringe players towards the end here. We don't really make anything happen until the end here. Thomas gets a lovely little header in on goal. Big save. And from the resulting corner, Alzat's going to swing it in. And it is big, at least to get his head on it, but he just cannot force it past the goalkeeper. And that's it, boys. We're out of the FA Cup. Why can we not get to a final in these domestic trophies, man? It's getting me fuming. Now, quick butchers at the table then. And we're sitting in sixth, man. But there is a lot of teams underneath us that are very close towards us. I don't think we're anywhere near Champions League football. But this is something that we've got to be considering. Next season, we might be without Taliso. And Inaki Williams, they're both looking to retire. I will not be letting that happen. I will be making sure I tie them down to a long-term contract very soon. But this is probably reason why they want to bloody retire, actually. Man City at home in the next one. Now, of course, we want to be up there around those European spaces. But teams like this coming up now are going to really cause us some issues. At this point in the season as well, Ali had just secured himself as our starting left winger. I like him cutting in, just coming in like this, drifting in, and a lovely little ball in from Nelson here. And Naki Williams just getting there before Edison, but cannot quite put it in to the back of the net. And just after that, Haaland comes through. And again, I hate to see it. I hate to see Haaland scoring against me after having so much fun in that Barca rebuild with him. But he's absolutely killed Roland here. Through his legs. Keep your legs closed, son. That's why I have to keep telling your sister. Absolutely gutting start to the game. We could have gone one up and now we are 1-0 down. Man City starting to turn on the style here a little bit. But Roland absolutely equal to everything they've got to throw at him. Ali going absolutely creaming through here. Beating Soler for pace. I just think he keep running, keep running. But eventually the finish leaves a lot to be desired. Thomas has a little bit of a ball dinked over to him. There's about four defenders that go down in front of him. And that's got to be a penalty ref. Are you taking the mick out of my life? We end up losing to Man City. And then we're on to Newcastle in the next one. And now this geezer here, Remy, he was a bit naughty this game. He absolutely takes out Tanganga here. So at this point, I thought, you know what? I'm going to get my own back on him. Every opportunity I had, I just wanted to beat seven bows of shit out of him. Nice little clean one from Tenganga here, but oh my god, Taliso's one is naughty. Leaves pure skid marks on the, the deck and hopefully skid marks on these bloody boxers. He does get his own back as well, takes out Sessignon and again I thought, I've got to take you out then son. And this time it was Billy sticking up for his right back. Now with all this madness going on, to be honest, I actually forgot I was playing a game of football. This ball gets swung in and Nelson nicks the ball off the defender and again, He's gone. He's off like a prom dress. He's absolutely steaming through on the goalkeeper. And he just sticks it in that front post. You never get beaten at your front post if you're a goalkeeper. And he goes up to the Newcastle fans. You're a mug. You're a mug. And I've had your mom, And I will have your nan tonight. Like I said, I've been massively impressed with the way Nelson has upped his goal tally and his assist tally and stuff like that. He's just a new player after me. Absolutely killing him in the press all we have to do in this game then is hold out but you know what we're like we do not stick the ball in corners we absolutely go for it and thomas flicks the ball over to ali here but he just absolutely lamb shanks it but a class result boys we get all three points on the road and that is absolutely massive going into this one this is bloody big we are playing brighton and brighton are just a couple places above us. We could seriously close the gap here and almost guarantee ourselves a European place. Now, one player who I don't think we've seen a lot of in this episode has been Evan Ferguson. It's a bit weird, man. Normally, the Irish are pretty good at three things. Drinking, fighting and scoring absolute top bins at Windsor's against his old team as well. This is what I wanted to see when we played him the first time. But look at this. 
Oh, just drink it in. It's absolutely magisterial. He's like bloody Batman. He only turns up when you really need him. And I tell you what, we did really need him. This game was as scrappy as you like. You get Ali coming through here. He gets absolutely taken out from behind. And again, I'm just thinking, oh, we've seen someone. We've seen someone take a free kick from this area of the pitch earlier in this episode. He ain't going to be able to do it again, is he? There's no way he's going to be able to do it again. He strikes it and it just comes off the bar. Imagine if he'd have done it twice in an episode. And again, speaking of Scrappy, at least goes shoulder to shoulder with Marquinhos here. And like that, he's gone. Sends the poor bloke into another astral plane, a new realm, if you will. Enough of the silliness though, boys, head in the game. Remember, we need to win this one if we've got any chance of European places. Evan Ferguson go through again. Massive stop from their goalkeeper. And then last minute, the ball gets collected by Rowland. He's going to absolutely sling it out. I'm just hoping for another break. And the ref goes and bloody calls it time. Just give us another goal, man, at least. Absolutely kill me. But that is the end of the game. And we do get the big needed three points. And that leaves us sat in ninth. Now, we are three points off West Ham, who are in sixth. And we are four points off Spurs, who are in fifth. And we've got three games left. Guess who the bloody three games are against? We've got Chelsea, we've got Burnley, and then we've got West Ham. Absolutely massive. And those Chelsea and West Ham games, they're going to be our live games, lads. Our team to play Chelsea then is going to be, of course, Roland in goal. We're going to have Kilkenny right back. Tanganga and Elise, our centre-backs. Matheson is going to be playing left-back with Taliso and Alzat in that midfield. Ali and Nelson in the wings. And then, of course, Ferguson and Williams up front. Let's go, boys. Chelsea at home. Massive result against them in the last episode. But this game is probably even more important at this point. European football is on the cards, lads. We can realistically, could we seal it today? I think there's a possibility that it might be sealed today, but we've got two games left. One of those being a big one against West Ham. Graham Potter still here, so it should be an easy game, then, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but boys, let's no messing around, you know what I mean? Let's get into it. Bloody massive. Here we go then, kick off. Come on, boys. Big, big performance today. We can do some serious things today. He's going to cause Matheson some serious probs. So if we win today, six. Oh, no. Wouldn't necessarily take us up. I've got to say, I hate seeing Villa in the relegation spots, man. It's killing me. Bloody killing me. Both of our left and right backs are injured as well. Kill Ken, you're going to have to put in an absolute performance, but I know you can do. Strike that. Ooh! Ali with an absolute thunderbolt. Start the move again then. Alzat's gone. Alzati! No! What are you doing there? It's a fantastic effort. Strike him with your right. Strike him with your right. Back across the goalkeeper. It's causing Taliso problems. Oh, kill Ken. That's a great ball. He's offside though. Kill Ken, big switcher. Lovely kill, Ken. It's opened up for you, son. Kill Kenny! Oh, my God. Kevin Kill Kenny just loves... I'm telling you, he loves a live game. I don't know. What, what is he doing wrong? Why is he not in the first team? Oh, my God. Gavin Kilkenny. I just love you, mate. I'm, I'm lost for words. His two goals this season have been absolutely magisterial. Oh, incredible. incredible. Oh, what a touch, Evan Ferguson! Imagine that going in! 
That little touch. Oh, Williams! It's it! Oh, Ferguson! Good job! I can't believe what we are doing to Chelsea here. Yeah. How has that just happened? Oh, Evan Ferguson. It's the absolute look of the Irish and it's son. Look at this. Great little bit of recovery from Williams. Oh. A strike that would make a leprechaun blush. Good in Evan. This is why... You are the future. You are the future. You're the present. And you're the future of this club. Got to do some working back, lads. Oh, the defence was good. Getting rid of it's not good, though. Oh, and again, why can't we get rid of it? There we go. And run it. Nels. Look pretty good for the counter attack. Williams into him. Oh, fuck. This. How have you just added the keeper? Oh. Kevin killed Ken again. Oh, he's done it again. Another power shot. Don't be silly. Oh. Kill Ken. Absolutely dominating, boys. I'll tell you what. Edge of the box. Edge of the box. Jude Bellingham. It's not Jude. It's Job. Strike this Job. Strike that Job. Ooh! Oh my God! That would have just wrapped it up. Fucking dangerous here. I don't like it when Chukwueze gets one on one with Mathers. Good lad, Mathers again. Go on, Nelson. Touch that. Long touch it then. Harvey Vale. Back stick. Harvey Vale. Finished it. Get in. 3 0 against Chelsea. Are you mad? What a ball. But it's Harvey Vale. The ghost of Chelsea past. Just to flick it in. He always comes up with a lovely little goal, does our half. Get in, boys. That is massive, massive for our season, massive result. Oh, the battle's gone again. Go on then, Harv. Wrap it up. A 4 0 Are you mad if it goes 4? Harvey Vial! 4 0 against Chelsea. We've absolutely ran through them. Like we've had a Vindaloo. Two Guinnesses, a couple Cobras, and we finished it off, washed it all down with a Tequila Rose. My arsehole would be falling out the next day like this Chelsea team has fallen apart today. Boys, this is huge. If we don't get European football this season, then it'll be an absolute travesty. There it is! Get in! 4 0 against Chelsea. We've absolutely dominated them. But again, it is Gavin Kilkenny. He's not getting out of the team. Now, I'm not leaving him out of the team. I will get Sessignon back in, but he's going left back because I can't keep out Gavin Kilkenny after today. And Harvey Vale. You might have just. Nah, yeah, I'm going to have to as well. Harvey Vale, you've got to play as well, mate. Get Reese Nelson out there. Keep Ali on. Oh, look at this team. I can't, I've got fantastic players who I have to leave out because of all the fantastic players coming in, damaging teams. Come on then, boys. Let's get into the next one. What a performance. What a result from the boys. And Gavin killed Kenny. Just incredible. We've got a game in between the two games and we beat Burnley. Absolutely massive. So we get the three points from this one as well. Which leaves us last game of the season against West Ham. Level on points with West Ham. Can we do it? Can we go and seal Europa League football? We've basically confirmed some sort of European football. But I want the Europa League, boys. Now, this is the side. It's exactly the same as the side against Chelsea. 
Roland in goal, a back four of Kilken, Tanganga, Elise and Matheson. You've got Taliso and Alzate, Nelson and Ali, Ferguson and Williams up front. Boys, this is the biggest game that I've ever played. Oh my God. This couldn't be poised any finer. Last game of the season. Both of the same points, us and West Ham. And it means the winner of this will secure themselves Europa League football. If we lose, there is a potential that we drop out of Europe altogether. But more than likely, it will be Conference League. But I want Europa, lads! Imagine us! First season! We failed, obviously, in the Championship to go up every season. Just kind of keep it going. But imagine if we can go and do this and get Europe in our first season of the Prem. We've performed incredibly. We deserve it. I'm telling you, we deserve it. It's bloody huge. Massive. We need to get this done, boys. We need to get this done. Come on, no messing around. Massive performance, boys. I want it absolutely huge. Heart in mouth stuff. Got to win that. Oh, no. Oh, this is not good. This really ain't good. Really ain't good. Really isn't good. I can't believe we've just conceded that. That was terrible. Lads. The little one-two over there just weren't good enough. We've got to be alive to that. I knew as soon as Nelson didn't pick that ball up. Roland as well, mate. I know I shouldn't have given him the opportunity, but I expect something better. Stick a foot out, anything. Right, let's regroup. We need a win here today, remember. We need this win. It just doesn't feel good with Matheson there today. Ali, you've gone. It's a great touch. Oh, what a save from the keeper. It was a great little ball. Great touch, great take. Big winner, Ferguson. Oh. Nice ball. Ali! Oh, again! You're just too little, ain't you, son? You're just too little. Right, big winner early. Hitty Williams! Yes, it's gone in! Get in, Anaki! Where's the camera? Get over to the camera. Oh, he's gone the other way. Oh, my God. I knew this was going to be stressful, but Jesus Christ, this is stress. Lovely, though, boys. As soon as we conceded, we've got straight back into it. Lovely little dink over. And Anaki Williams with his first for God knows how long, man. It's a great touch. Keeper needs to sew his hands on, though. Right, this is big. This is massive chance now. Let's get back into this. Let's bloody win it, boys. Come on. Nelson, back into Tangangs. Back into Nelson. And Nelson, you've gone. You've definitely gone. Beat him. First sticker. Ali! Yes! Ali, get it, son! Get over to that camera. Stick your face in that camera. What a run. What a ball. What a header. Oh my god. This is huge. Well, here it is again. He goes past what a run. He's battled with Bremer. And Pavard. Who are you picking up and where are they? He didn't have a clue he was coming back, sticker. And old man says old man because he sees Muhammad Ali coming in with that knockout blow. At the back post. Come on, boys. Didn't even... There was no attempt to play the ball whatsoever. Kill Kenny. Have him. Oh, God. Oh, no. Oh, no. Good lad, Elise! We've made a few changes. Brought on Bellingham. Oh, get that out. No, get that out! 
Roland! Absolute saviour. What on earth was he doing there, Matheson? Thomas has gone. Seal it for us, Tommy. Rabona! Oh, back stick! Oh no, what have I done? What have I done? Just run it into the box. Here we go. Keep the ball. You can see Harvey Vale. Oh, Matheson. Yes. Oh, it might be done. I think it's done. Good lad, a knack. That's got to be it, ref. That's got to be it, ref. Yes, it's done. Does that mean? I don't know. We're not going to go mad, are we? Oh, God. Does that mean we've done it? Does that mean Europe next season? Does it mean Europa? Oh, I just don't know. Why are some of us on the floor? I don't get it. Oh, I can't take it. Let's go and have a look, boys. Pat your bags. Dust off your sunnies. Because Liso's AFC are going on a European adventure. Oh my god, we have got Europa League football. We're going to have to play the qualifying round. But it doesn't matter, we're there. We've got in the competition. Now we'll just have a look at some of the top goal scorers this season. To be fair, I thought Anaki Williams is going to be way further up. But he ends up, what, way down the list? Assist. We haven't really got anyone on there. I don't think Nelson's there. But yeah, absolutely poor. Piss poor season, to be fair, in terms of numbers for us. Roland, top of the clean sheets for us, though. Oh, he's absolutely, he's like 86 rated. I can't believe I was about to sell him in the first season. And of course, boys, I'm always going to leave you this one. Well, now, these are the players that I've identified who didn't really get a lot of game time for their clubs last season. We've got a few good young players. We've got Hall here, Feeney. But we've also got some of the old boys, Shaw. We've got Roberts, Grealish up there as well. McAllister, another one, has gone to Arsenal not getting game time. So I'd love to bring him in and give him all the game time he bloody wants. And to be honest, pots of pissing stuff from the board only 26 mil that they've given us it's a bit grim but let's face it we're gonna have to work with it and we're gonna have to get as many people in as physically possible now guys that is the end of the episode today thank you again so much for getting to the end here make sure that you comment in down below who you want to see come in the next season make sure that you've dropped this video a like and subscribed if you're new geezers i can't wait to get back to this one i will see you again in a week's time peace